we believe that it's important that the education stay focused on the nuts and bolts. That's why we've done things like ban critical race theory in our K-12 through schools. We're not going to use your tax dollars to teach kids to hate our country or to hate each other. That's unacceptable. And of course, quickly, critical race theory is not being taught to young children in Florida. The last thing before we go tonight, diversity makes us stronger. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who you just saw there, and Republicans in his state have been on a mission to restrict what children can be taught in schools. All of this moved former Navy Commander Wes Rexrode to speak up at his local school board meeting, and I want to share it with you. You know, on September 11, 2001, I was on board USS Theodore Roosevelt when religious fanatics who wouldn't even let women be educated flew planes into the World Trade Center in my Pentagon. I spent the last decade of my naval career fighting religious fascism abroad. Never thought I'd have to fight it right here in the United States of America. I grew up, I grew up in rural South Carolina, and books got me out of the trailer parks. My parents trusted those educators and the librarians to let me read what I needed to read. I spent 21 years in the Naval Nuclear Propulsion Program, where I'm Mohammed and Rick over said a questioning attitude was the key to success in the nuclear power program. I want my son exposed to different ideas and different viewpoints so that he can learn to think critically and not be force-fed somebody else's opinion. We've all been exposed to different opinions. Makes us better. Makes us stronger. Adversity has made me stronger. I didn't sacrifice 21 years of my life to stand idly by or religious fanatics and other fanatics try to impose fascism on my country. I urge you to think about what a book ban needs and use transparency. I don't need anyone else telling my son what he can and cannot read. I'm very perfectly capable of determining that for myself. Thanks for your time. Thank you for listening. I urge you to remember the Little Rock Nine. Thank, Thank you. Some very powerful words from former Navy Commander Wex, excuse me, Wes Rexrode taking us off the air tonight.